Hey friends, ah, uh, what are we doing here today? I want to give you the formal version of the announcement that we made the other day live on stream. Uh, it's, it's loosely formal. I'm going to be, be trying to get it done as, as succinctly as possible, but that's not really my strong suit. Uh, so we'll see where this heads, but we had a huge announcement, a huge announcement on stream the other day, and it was raw, and it was emotional, and there it was just I like nothing I've ever done on Twitch. Um, if you want to see the full version of that, or the and or the highlighted version of that, check the links down below the video. Um, I, I definitely want to try to provide some clarity on it. Uh, as you know, quickly and briefly as 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 possible. Uh, but this video itself is going to be focusing a lot more on what's happening now rather than what's going to be happening. And there are reasons for that. We'll talk about that in a second. So what's the announcement itself? Um, I'm going to be taking five plus weeks off from streaming. Um, anywhere from, from five to seven. Frankly, it's a matter of however long it takes. And there are good reasons for that, too. What's going to be going on during these five and a half weeks? Um, I'm going to be in tons of meetings and doing a lot of brainstorming and, and creative work and like really good and like invigorating stuff. Um, we're going to be mapping things out, throwing stuff out that, that didn't didn't work for the, the stream or for myself um, and and you know, adding a lot new, a lot of new things in and, and also primarily, I think, refocusing. Because I kind of got lost out there in the wilderness a little bit. So we'll talk, we'll talk about that in just in just a minute. What is, so while this break is happening and I'm not streaming on Twitch, a lot of people are wondering where can what are you going to be doing like where can we find you where can we connect what 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 is the situation with content are you going to be producing anything are you going to be giving us anything um I, can we have conversations with you are you just going to are you just are you ghosting are you just disappearing what's what's going on i want to alleviate any concerns um about this stuff you, it is could it's super easy to uh, find me and connect with me. And not only that, but keep really thoroughly updated on what's going on with me and with the Hunter Wild as a, an entire endeavor. Um, you, I'm going to be coming back to Twitch uh, far more powerful than before, like really invigorated. Um, hit the ground running and then some and i'm so i am so excited for it it's going to it's going to be ooh it's going to be it's going to be a big thing but in the meantime you can find me of course on instagram at the hunter wild uh primarily on twitter where i'm going to be talking with you every day Every day. And not just me posting stuff and people replying and me just, you know, going off and doing more stuff. I love the conversations. Please, please, please reply if you've got something to say. And don't worry about uh, having it be the most interesting thing that you've ever said. A lot of people refrain from conversing with uh, with streamers and um, other people on, on Twitter because they're like, yeah, but I don't have anything interesting to say. I don't, it's not the smartest thing. It's not a funny thing. It's not, you know, the most well-versed thing. I give absolutely zero pickles about any of that. I love feeling like you care about the stuff that I'm doing and the stuff that I'm saying, and I want to care about you. Let me do that by letting me know you're there. You know what I mean? At the Hunter Wild TV, anything that you see me posting, it can just be like a, hey, great dude, keep it up. Cool, that's neat, wonderful. I love it. I'm like, hey, thanks, man. That really means a lot to me, you know, because I'm going through, I'm going through some stuff, dude. And I love creating things and I love creating things for people. Let me know that you're one of those people. I want that so bad. Some stuff will be showing up on YouTube as well. Um, and 
mostly if you want the good, 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 good stuff, Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Hunter Wild. Patreon is where we collectively are creating a brilliant feedback loop of what you want to what I make to what you get. That is, and the more of it that you get and the more of it you figure out, like, you're like, yeah, this is the good stuff. Or like, no, nah, that was kind of okay. Let's do this other, let's try, let's try this other, let's experiment with this other thing now. Let's see what we can do with that. Ooh, that sounds sick. That's cool. Oh, yes, hell yes, do that. That is what our Patreon is. Some of the stuff up in there right now, it, this is all, it, currently it's, t it's totally temporary. It is meant to be for the founders of our Patreon. If you want it, now's the time to get it, to get in there because it's supporting this hiatus, this transition that we're making and all of this crazy content that we're going to be doing with it. Um, so, so the things that are going to be involved on there right now, you are going to be the only people to be able to get that stuff and to get access to that stuff and see that stuff. But also the people who are actual founders of the rest of everything that we do together. You're, you're actually and actively taking a, a place in the history that is the becoming of this dream. Actively and actually taking a part. It almost sounds like taking a part, dismantling. Taking, having a part, having a role in, in all the amazing things that we are trying to do and that we will be doing on into the future. Um, Patreon.com slash The Hunter Wild. Thank you for even considering checking it out. And to all of the tons of people who are throwing $1 set it and forget it tier in there, which you actually get access to stuff in there too. For the record, at the $1 tier, you totally get stuff. Um, all of the um, all of the goals and unlocks that we've, that we've had because we absolutely crushed our Patreon goals on day one, the first six hours, uh, we we crushed all the goals except for the absolute highest, biggest, loftiest goal. And even then, we're like closing in on it. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, get in there, see what it's all about. All the 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 stuff, the goals that we've that we've unlocked. That stuff's all going to be up there and available for you uh, at the one dollar tier. Also, if you want to provide feedback, um, there you can totally post comments. Um, if we're dropping links to um, to to questionnaires or uh, you know Google forms and stuff because we want feedback, because we want to know what, what you uh, need from us and what you what ideas you have and what stuff you liked and didn't like and what things you would change and what it is that you actually want to see. Like, goofy, it doesn't matter what it is. The most brilliant, the weirdest, the off the... It doesn't matter. The feedback opportunity is there, and I so want to make the stuff that you want to see. Patreon.com. Slash the Hunter Wild. That's the spot, dude. Oh, man. And, and it allows us to experiment, too, in so many ways that are, that are really critical, really vital, really important. Um, on, on Twitch, I don't want uh, to hang on this point too long. I, I, could, I could talk about it forever. Really, the thing is on, on Twitch, and as any a content creator anywhere, um, you, you have a certain focus, and that subset of the industry or that platform or um, whatever it happens to be that you're on and participating in has some sort of social and cultural rules that guide th the sustainability of projects and and creators and sometimes doing something that you aren't really thrilled at is the one that's the best for your career and and even for your community sometimes because they're you know really excited to to see something happen in a certain way but over time it can it can really weigh on you and and you can have all these really cool ideas that you want to that you want to introduce to the channel and you're like yeah I think people would really love this and you know and and it's this channel is my heart it's my soul and I sort of want to express that and show that but it can be terrifying to want to change up some of these big parts of of our channels of our of our streams because what if it doesn't work what if it fails if it fails in an industry like this you can you can tank and never recover it's one of the biggest fears for us as creators is 
is testing stuff out that we're excited about, that we're thrilled about, and maybe it just doesn't work for like a week, but sometimes, for whatever reason, that will be a week that you never recover from. It's bonkers, and it can feel really, I mean, I just, I'm gonna keep going back to that like sort of like agonizing terror, and that can really weigh on you, especially when you're you're quite a creative person. Like I love getting in and coming up with with you know crazy ideas and trying stuff out and seeing how far we can push some of the some of the boundaries and tweaking things and um, and you know just just trying stuff out that nobody's nobody's doing. Um, very rarely do I actually get to implement a lot of the ideas that I have for exactly this reason. I have gotten myself uh, because of my own personal failures and the intensity of my heart and love and commitment and passion to to this community as part of my career like that's what i wanted is is that all to be the same thing that my career is tied to people and relationships and and love and that kind of passionate intensity that only can exist among people right the commitment level that I have to wanting that to be amazing and perfect, that that side of things, pushed me to overwork. And it pushed me into a position that I allowed myself to get into um, and sort of kept digging and kept digging and kept digging myself into it. Um, to a point where I couldn't really get out. And it produced some really fantastic stuff, but ultimately it was, I was overworking as a temporary solution that became a permanent fix or a permanent habit. Um, I wanted to be able to grow the stream, um, as I think a lot of people do probably, to, to, to at least to some extent, you know, somewhat, somewhat rapidly to be able to get uh, more revenue flowing in so that I could do more giveaways and do more crazy events and and uh, and uh, execute a lot of these amazing ideas that we have that 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 cost a lot of money for you know like web developers or designers or um, all all kinds of stuff man um, takes 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 a lot of money to do it and I was like well I I'll sacrifice myself for this you know I can do this for a little bit I'm gonna go you know do all these 12 hour streams and and uh, and these crazy launch events and even if they're back to back I'm gonna I'm gonna do them all and we're just gonna try and grow it as as big as we can in, in a certain amount of time uh, so that we can do this really cool stuff for the community so we can do this really cool stuff for for the stream. Um, Turns out once you once you get there and you're like, yeah, that that worked out. That was really cool. And now we have this stuff. Well, I mean, I still want to be able to do all this cool stuff. So I guess I should keep streaming that much. I guess I should I guess I should keep this keep this going. Like, let's hire another person. Let's you know, because we want to we want to do more stuff that they can that they can co-create with us. Let's get some more artists on this. You know, let's let's get somebody to, to design out that crazy bot idea. Um, let's get somebody to work on this this bizarre website idea that nobody else on on twitch is doing like this let's let's see what we can do with that okay so i guess i just got to work harder to make that happen to, to get more you know more attention to the stream and you know get some more people in there and maybe get some more subs and tips and cheers so that we can take that and and invest that back into making bigger and bigger and better stuff every time that, that would go up it'd be like okay well i mean i we i kind of went yeah that was cool get can we because I'm gonna, we're now we've hired out even more, and we're doing more, and we're getting bigger, right? Every time, and once you're up there, you can't go like, nah, sure, we'll just go ahead and and take uh, take half the revenue now, because we've done a few projects, and we don't, I guess we don't have to do any anymore. That doesn't happen. That never happens. Of course, you're like, yeah, I want to do more, bigger, better, better, cooler stuff, man. We got all these, right? That was the position I put myself in. That was the hole that I sort of dug for myself. And it wasn't like I wasn't happy in, um, in, in committing myself to that. It felt very empowering and very enriching, but it totally killed my opportunity and ability to get creative because I ended up spending zero time with myself, zero time, very little time, uh, appropriately committing myself to the projects that I loved the most because I kept having to stream in order to fund them.
But funding them didn't really matter as much if I couldn't work on them. And then we just ha ended up with so many projects and so many things on the backlog that new ideas were coming out and just couldn't, just couldn't work on them. Just couldn't work on them. All I was doing was working to maintain and try to grow. And that is a situation where it's like the stuff you really want got lost while you were trying to achieve it because you got stuck, and you is the me here, because I got stuck um, in that one version of, of engagement. I got stuck in the surface element of, well, I just needed to, to do more. I need to commit myself more to having this thriving community and these people who love the channel and these people who get so much out of it. I, I need to commit myself more and more and more to that. And I need to spend more hours doing it and building the stuff. And it killed the creative, the creative spirit. Um, well, that's, I mean, that's not necessarily true. It just prevented me from being able to, to, to act on it. And that is a core part of who I am. This, this creative impulse and engine. I used to be a career painter. Um, I used to be a career artist, and I haven't touched it once since I started streaming. Uh, I did have another creative outlet, which is, again, all of these ideas, and that was beautiful. But being unable to, unable to, to actually execute them and manifest them and, and bring them into the world, they were just sitting there as ideas. And over time, that felt like murder. That felt like agony to me. And there was sort of this continuous lingering sadness that I was forcing myself to, to, you know, to do something that was beautiful and, and, and lovely by itself, but it was sort of incomplete. It needs more parts to it, right? Streaming is an amazing and beautiful and brilliant thing. And I've, I've never been sad or despondent about streaming itself. Nothing about it has become less beautiful, but the other elements that need to be a part of it aren't there because I made those choices. And so we're reorienting now. That's what this is about. This is about restructuring so that I have time for you and all of the other things that get to make you even happier, that get to make me even happier. They get to make me passionate about producing new, crazy, quirky, weird, amazing stuff for you. And I need that. Desperately, I need that. Um, and I also need to take time for me. I need to have a life, a life that I sort of tamped out and I just put it over there. I set it aside. I was like, no, I can sacrifice that. I can sacrifice that for a little bit. But again, temporary solution that became a permanent habit. Well, that was always left over there after a certain point. And I need to get that back. I need to get that back for me. And a lot of people in the community have demanded that I get that back for me as well. So in a, in a way, because of my love and commitment to what I want us to be together, I also owe that to me. All of this stuff is all tied in together. I think that the very nature of the Hunter Wild as a brand is to have me connect with you. I want to give myself to that. And I, and I desperately need to feel that sort of come back at me. And the stuff that I have been feeling coming back has been, hey, you need to take care of yourself. You need to do this. We love you. We care about you. Do the thing. Do the thing. We'll find a way to support you. We'll find a way to make it happen. We'll find a way to do this so that you don't die of it, put it, get in, put into an early grave um, from stress, so that you actually have a life to live, so that you have new stories to come back and tell us, so that you have new content, new innovative types of content that you can share with us. Okay, I'm about it. I am about it. That's what we're doing. So in terms of what's coming up next, what we're achieving there are a lot more details to come. We haven't created everything yet. We haven't mapped out everything yet. We haven't brainstormed everything yet. We have a giant list of, of ideas, 
some of which are, are fully formed out, just never, we never acted on them. Others are just tiny little, they started as a, as a, a tiny little seed and never really got to process all the way up, um, but are great and amazing. We want to revisit all of that stuff and come up with some new stuff and find these amazing ways to integrate it all in together into something that's beautiful and fluid for you, where you don't have to do any work to, to find the new, crazy, weird, interesting thing that we're doing. You can feel compelled to participate in that, in that creativity yourself and like have, have whatever level of commitment you want to it to help us make the stuff uh, that, that brings us all together, that enriches all of our lives, my, my own included. Um, that's a lot of what we're going to be working on throughout this time. Um, there's a new flood of creativity from me uh, that is big here. So you can definitely expect to see a lot of conversations about some of the ideas that are flowing forth. And like I said, on Patreon, if that feedback loop is there, if you want to be a part of that conversation, that's a place to do it. Uh, likewise, a bit on Twitter for this particular type of thing, definitely in Discord. Um, the Patreon itself is a lot of what you can expect coming up soon in, in the, in the, I mean, actually that's not even true. Immediately, immediately already. There's already day one. We were already doing stuff out of the gate. Boom. It's there. That's going to be a huge portion of our upcoming content and what we're going to be working on really fleshing that out, really expanding that out so we can have that exact perfect synchronicity between the people who want to see the stuff and the people who are making it. And, and it's all going to be part of this one big flu. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, we're also looking at, at other ways to avenues of and ways to and avenues of content creation. New, new for me, um, approaches to creating the, the, getting into the world, the things that are in my head, uh, having these bizarre and rich ideas, um, not trying to fit those into Twitch. Um, although a lot of those are actually going to be perfect for fitting into Twitch, but, but also a lot of them can't. Um, and we want to be very open to the opportunities uh, for, for that stuff. Instead of trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, you know, trying to take adapt to adapt some really cool, really interesting idea onto Twitch, we're just going to give it its own proper home. We're going to make it the best possible goddamn thing that we can and serve it right up to you. Fresh, smoking hot, good, exactly as it needs to be and exactly how you deserve it. And we want to be able to create those opportunities ourselves and, and take, seize those, seize those opportunities. Um, and that means working on, um, you know, brainstorming and mapping out how we would, how we would execute some of that, um, what platforms are right and, and how we want to, to move with those. Um, a lot of the, you know, production stuff has to get, a lot of work has to get done there. And we want to experiment with a lot of it. Um, and we want to do, a, I mean, a ton of experimentation with a lot of it. You will be seeing a lot of that, uh, especially on Patreon, but some of that will filter out eventually into YouTube. So if you're super, super, super patient, um, you will be seeing some of the stuff that we'll be producing this month, uh, eventually out on, out on, uh, out on YouTube. But, uh, if you're like pretty much everybody else and you want that good stuff now, Patreon is the place. I cannot emphasize that enough. It's so exciting. Okay, other avenues of making and creating content and, of course, distributing that content as well. Where is that going to be coming out? We'll be letting you guys know as soon as we can. On Patreon, there's also um, constant updates that we're going to be doing. So what were the new developments that we've had? What are the new um, platforms we're going to be pushing on? What's the nature of the content? What are some of the new creative ideas that we have? Actually letting you guys know what those are. Of course, getting the feedback too. Um, I, I with, with all of this rolled in together, I am intensely excited i am so excited um i i'm i am overwhelmed with the amount of positive feedback that we have gotten uh from you as well as well as all of my peers and, and friends it's it's uh, utterly overwhelming many times it already has been actually overwhelming i'm like i don't even i don't how to work what, what the uh, oh yes yes Thank you so much for all of that, all of that positivity. 
all of that cheerleading, all of that that feedback and the evidence of commitment and and the incredibly generous words and and all of the rooting for us um, and and of course all of the patience um, that you guys have been exhibiting as we've been trying out this uh, this new stuff. This is a a truly terrifying time for me, but it's not stuck on terror. It also has so much elation and invigoration, and I'm feeling just, I'm on fire in the best possible ways, um, and that is all thanks to you crafting this opportunity for me and for us. I, the, the, the gratitude cannot be overstated. I think words will sort of always fall flat. They will always um, fall short of their, of, their, of their goal. I want you to know how I feel about this, and I don't think I can have, I don't think words will do the job. I want to reiterate, if you want to see me get like really emotional about this stuff, uh, I did for like a solid 30, 45 minutes on stream. Um, you can find that in the, in the link down below, along with some other stuff too. I'd, I'd love to see you guys um, out on Twitter, on Instagram, in the in the Patreon feed, um, in our Discord server, which is like a Twitch chat that runs all the time that I'm popping back into throughout the day. Um, and of course, if you want, you can you know leave a comment down below, give a little thumbs up, give us a, give us a touch of a like, give us a sub if you want to uh, to see the content that starts showing up on YouTube as well. Um, all of this is really fresh for me and it's going to, it's going to have some, the, the learning curve is there, but I want to, uh, I want you to know that I'm fully committed to making this the best possible goddamn thing that I can. I'm not getting emotional right now. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. Listen, I love you. Thank you. And not listen. Thanks for listening, my friends. We'll keep you updated. There is a lot to come. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Because if you don't, who will? I am, I am going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do what I can for it. I love you.